flat, quite literally, and they think the huge freeway project might be the reason for that. Now, the city believes the reconstruction of I-96 and other projects are partly to blame for driving rodents into nearby neighborhoods, but there is a battle plan. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards is live in Livonia to explain what that might be. Tara? Well, Stephen, it's not a widespread problem, but enough to raise some concerns. And many of the residents we spoke to were surprised to learn that the major overhaul on I-96 may be to blame. It's been construction city here this past summer. And as if looking at the torn up highway and all the work being done next to Jack Mitchell's home wasn't enough, now he may have to deal with a bigger mess. According to the Livonia mayor, some residents reported rodent problems. It's kind of a scary situation if it's true that there could be possible rats running around, how big they are and uh, what they could end up doing to the total community here. The mayor's office says the large commercial buildings project and the I-96 freeway construction has displaced the homes of some rats and mice. They are warning the pesky rodents can spread more than 35 diseases and that rats also gnaw and dig, damaging wood, wiring, even insulation. Carolyn Fusen walks every day through her neighborhood here and has major concerns. Especially if there is a rodent um, problem and, and uh, a pet or a, uh, you know, gets bit or something, that would be a huge issue. City officials are telling residents to eliminate sources of food for pests. Rats eat garbage, food scraps, fallen fruit and nuts, pet food and animal droppings. Meanwhile, residents are hoping these pests just stay away from their homes. Well, I mean, it's disheartening. Hopefully, we'll, uh, they'll take care of it and resolve it. And the mayor's office says that rats can squeeze through holes the size of this nickel. So make sure you seal up homes that are, or seal up holes in the inside and the outside of your homes. They also say that rats can hide in junk and weeds. So make sure you clean up as much as you can outside of your home as well. Live in Livonia, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. All right, Tara, thank you for that. And there is light at the end of the I-96 construction zone tonight. MDOT engineers say the reconstruction of the seven-mile stretch of the freeway is now two-thirds complete. To top it off, we're told the work is under budget and it is on time. So when will the orange barrels go away finally? Well, look for them to disappear right about the time the leaves are changing in mid-October.